Now I know our audience; they know what to eat matters. You know, especially for your your gray matter. Why don't we go through the、uh, the four things? Okay, so week one of the glucose goddess method, we have a savory breakfast instead of a sweet breakfast. Most of us have a sweet breakfast every morning. Maybe it's fruit juice, it's breakfast cereal, it's oats with honey and a banana, or、All、pancakes the, with all its syrup. Of course, or pancakes with syrup. And so when we eat something sweet, we might think that we're getting energy because we feel a little bit awake like this. What's actually happening is that your brain is releasing dopamine. It's the pleasure molecule in response to that sugar, and that tricks you into thinking you have energy. You don't have any energy. You have pleasure in your brain. On the inside, actually, in your mitochondria, the little organelles that are making energy, that sweet food at breakfast is going to make them tired, stressed out, and not able to make energy as effectively anymore. So we switch from a sweet breakfast that creates a big glucose spike and all those side effects to a savory breakfast built around protein that doesn't give you that much dopamine, but gives you super steady energy. And so for the whole day, you can focus well, you're concentrated, you feel great, your mood. Mood is level, and it's just a whole new experience of your days. You're more productive too. So, week one savory breakfast. It is a game changer. It is a foundational layer of steady glucose levels and a much nicer experience of life. Absolutely. And so, the the, the food that you eat is is fuel.、Mm-hmm. And your brain is only what two percent of your body mass, but it requires twenty percent of the、yeah. of the energy. It's an energy hog. And your brain is also very sensitive to the fluctuations in blood sugar level、mm. in your bloodstream, your glucose levels. It's a very sensitive organ, and so if you're able to give it a steady supply of glucose instead of that roller coaster, it's going to thank you. It's going to be able to perform so much better for you. And do you recommend our listeners use like a continuous glucose monitor or one of those things, or can they do they? You need know,、that? I don't. I think if you have one, that's great, and if you're interested. But it is a medical device made for people with diabetes. The data can be a bit difficult to understand.、Mm-hmm. I recommend that you do the hacks and you just see how your experience of yourself changes. How you feel, how you perform. Exactly. Cravings go away. Energy improves. You're less hungry. Inflammation goes down. Skin problems go away. If you had hormonal issues, they also dissipate. You sleep better. Literally, every system in your body gets better when you get off that glucose roller coaster that so many of us are on.、Mm. So then, as you continue to week two, week two, week two, I introduce a very cool molecule that is inside of vinegar. So week two, we have one tablespoon of vinegar in a big glass of water before one of our meals a day. Why do we do this? Because acetic acid is amazing. Acetic acid, this molecule, slows down how quickly food breaks down to glucose molecules. So you can still eat. The meal that you love eating afterwards, but by adding the vinegar drink, you're reducing the glucose spike. So you're reducing the impact of that meal on your health. It's quite magical, but actually, it's science. There's a lot of wonderful clinical trials showing its efficacy. So that's week two. So week one, savory breakfast.、Mm-hmm. Week two, vinegar. Yeah, I mean, I know our audience is remembering this because they're trained with the, with their memory. There's no such thing as a good or bad memory. There's a trained memory and untrained memory, so they know, especially the way you're presenting it. And you're very passionate about vinegar, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> can it be apple cider vinegar? It can be any type of vinegar. And if you're not a vinegar person, you can also replace it with lemon juice.、Mm-hmm. So lemon juice is less powerful. You need the juice of about three. Lemons to、okay. get the power of one tablespoon of vinegar, but it's also helpful if somehow、okay. you have an aversion to vinegar. And it blunts the spike, so it doesn't. Like、exactly. I love your on your on your social media, how you have the graphs, and maybe we could show that in post. Where sometimes you see it spike really high if you eat something that's sweet,、yes. but if you add something. In advance, and so for example, for the vinegar, let's say you're having a big bowl of pasta, that would be a big glucose spike. If、mm-hmm. you have a vinegar drink before the bowl of pasta, you would see a smaller glucose spike. Yet you're still eating the same pasta afterward. And if they choose to, they're not denying the foods that they want.、Mm-hmm. You're you're saying how you could do it in a more sustainable way without all the symptoms. Exactly, and especially what you want to avoid is once you kick off that glucose spike and the roller coaster, you're going to have a full day of cravings and more hunger. So、mm. you want to be able To eat what you love, the pasta and the chocolate that you love, without kicking off that really annoying and unfortunate vicious cycle of cravings. You know, we've、right. all been there. You have one cookie, and then an hour later, you're like, "Oh my god, I need ice cream now." That's the glucose roller coaster bringing you all these cravings for the rest of the day. So you want to eat the pasta with less of a spike, so less consequences. Okay, and as we go to into week three. Oh, so week three. Week three is the week of veggie starters. Veggie starters. Yes. So once a day before one of our meals, we're gonna have a plate of vegetables 
at the beginning of the meal. Mm -hmm. So why do we do this? Because vegetables contain an amazing substance called fiber. When we eat fiber at the beginning of a meal, her amazingness powers, she has time to deploy herself onto the walls of your upper intestine and create a protective fibrous mesh. This protective mesh is gonna slow down and reduce how many glucose molecules are gonna be absorbed from your food into your bloodstream. So again, you're eating the same meal, but by adding the veggie starter, you're reducing the glucose spike of that meal. So you're helping your brain health, you're helping your physical health. It's super powerful. So it's not just what you eat, it's how you eat it and also when. Absolutely. In terms of the, the syntax, the order. Exactly, because for the veggies, of course it's great to eat veggies anytime. Right. Like have veggies anytime, but if you want them to be extra powerful, have them at the beginning of your meal. 